Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, now I'm filming this on the same day or right after I filmed the video of my figures. Now I don't know if I'm going to upload them right after or one right after the other or if I'm going to space them out between a couple of days. But I just did a quick, uh, just took down my hair and just put on a different shirt is all. But I just wanted to go ahead and get these recorded um, as soon as possible. Um, now this video is going to be, I did my first purchase finally from, um, Pam over at the Video Game Movie Dome. Um, I've known about her for a long time, probably over a year or so, you know, of course, throughout the YouTube community. So, um, but I finally messaged her and asked her if she had, um, a few titles, which she didn't have any of the ones that I specifically asked her for, but she did have some awesome stuff and six steel books. So as you guys know, I am hugely, hugely obsessed, especially here lately with steel books. So I am so unbelievably happy to have six new steel books to my collection, plus six new Blu-rays. So and before I forget, like I did at the end of my last video, so I don't have to come back or anything, thank you so, so much, Pam. I so appreciate you letting me know about all of these great steelbooks and Blu-rays and everything. And just thank you, thank you so much. And I will leave her information for the YouTube channel and for her facebook and i believe she has an instagram as well i will leave all of that information down in the description box so you can get a hold of her and just let her know any titles that you are looking for or anything that you are interested in like i said like with the steel books she let me know about all of these great deals that she had and um she'll get you hooked up so thanks again pam all right let's dig into the box and i have already opened this and looked through it so uh the box is already open but yeah um, all right, so I'm just going to go at random. So the first thing we have here is Phantasm on Steelbook. And me, I have, uh, I think me and Joe tried to watch this one time because this is actually his favorite out of all of the franchises. As I've said many times, mine is Chucky. His is the Phantasm franchise. Um, so either which way I had to have this, uh, regardless if it was for me or for him, but I am kind of more the steelbook collector. So I think I'm going to keep this one and give him my Blu-ray copy. Um, but we did, um, watch these one time, but I don't really remember if, um, what they were about or if I really liked them or if I fell asleep. I honestly don't remember. It was a while back. So I'm very happy to have this now so I can go ahead and revisit it and give it another shot. So, and it does come already in a nice little, um, the plastic, hard plastic, um, shield case, whatever, protector case. So. Very, very happy to have this. And then next up, we have the Demolisher. And this is still brand new factory sealed. And this one is Raven Banner and it's from 2015 or 16 it says a powerful jolting entity in the vigilante genre when he finds you run so this one sounds really good um it is in English and it is 86 minutes, not rated. And it's also from Dark Sky Films as well. So, can't wait to check that one out. And then we also got Nothing Bad Can Happen. And this is a Draft House film. And I love the white case. 
And again, this one is also brand new factory sealed. And this one says a riveting example of transcendent whore. And that's from Fangoria. And this one is from 2012, 110 minutes. Uh, this one is in German with English subtitles, and it's not rated. So, very, very interested to check that one out. And then, when she said she had this one, I had to grab it, because, again, you know, with the... Me loving the Batman animated series because, of course, I just love that series no matter what. But that's also where Harley Quinn originated from. Um, this is the movie, the only movie that spawned from the series. And this was actually in theaters. It's Batman Mask of the Phantasm. And this is also brand new factory sealed. Because I do already have this on DVD, but I don't have many uh, except for like the newer ones. Um, but I don't have many of the DC animated movies on, uh, Blu-ray. So very, very happy for the upgrade on this one. And this one is PG 76 minutes. I think this show ended in like 96 or something so this came out or no oh i guess it ended a lot sooner than that it says 93 i could have swore it was in the late 90s but i guess not or middle to late 90s but no it was early so 93 is when this one came out and then got uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world on Steelbook, and it's the comic book version. Or comic book style version, whatever you want to call it. But I have not seen this movie in a long time, so honestly, I don't really remember it that much. So very very happy to have this one and i love the fact that she puts them in these things too because i really want to get some of these for my steel books that i already have um to kind of help protect them just for actually for all of my movies to be completely honest that are not already in the you know dvd binders so but i love this and then we have insurgent on Steelbook. And then um, I really, really love the way that this one looks. But now you see me too on Steelbook, the way it looks like a playing card. Absolutely love this design. Because honestly, I didn't really think about getting these ones on Steelbook or anything. But, you know, when she sent me the picture and everything, I was just like, yeah, I'll take them. Because they were really greatly priced. And there's the back. And then this one she actually gifted to me. So thank you so much for that. And that is Batman the Killing Joke. Which again I have on DVD but not on Blu-ray.
And this one is rated R, 77 minutes. And this one is from 2016. And this one does have Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill doing the voices. The original from the animated series, which is awesome. Which is another reason why this is one of the, not better ones, but why I love it. Um, and then I got Frank Miller's Sin City, A Dame to Kill For on Steelbook. So I definitely want to get the first one on Steelbook as well. I love the Sin City movies. They are just beautifully shot. And I love this cover art. The whole just artwork on the back too. Just that silhouette like that. I haven't seen this one as many times as I've seen the first one. I think I've seen this one maybe like twice but I absolutely love the first one and um I did like this one of course both times that I did see it um because of course I love uh I don't think as far as I remember Bruce Willis wasn't in it for very long but um is it Josh Brolin right and um the chick who plays uh, Miss Peregrine Eva Green I think that's her name Eva Green are just wonderful in here and then from dust till dawn season one on blu-ray still brand new sealed And this says it includes six exclusive collective uh, collectible cards. And I love this too because it comes in this awesome slip cover. Love that. And this is from 2014. Uh, 10 episodes on three discs. It lasts 250 or sorry, 452 minutes. So I cannot wait to check this out. I love the first one. That's the only one I've seen actually from Dust Till Dawn. I haven't seen any of the other three. I think there's four total. But I love the first one. Love, love, love that one. So can't wait to check out the series. And then got Hammer Films double feature. Got Maniac and Die Die My Darling. Again, brand new factory sealed. And Maniac is in black and white and is 87 minutes from 1963. And then Die Die My Darling is in color 97 minutes from 1965. And then we have Hell's Five Hours. Again, this is brand new factory sealed and this is an olive film. Top suspense story of the nuclear age. And this one is from 1958, black and white, 81 minutes, and it's not rated. And then the last one is um, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I honestly did not plan on getting any of the other Mission Impossibles on Steelbook. Um, but again, just because of the price and everything, I went ahead and said, absolutely, I will take it. Um, because, you know, I already have, I think it's Ghost Protocol. So, um, and I did, of course, this doesn't come with the J card. Um, but looking on the inside of this, I did see same, Simon Pegg again. And I also think... Um, Oh, God. 
the one from Need from Speed and who plays um the guy who shoots arrows in Marvel. I can't think of what the hell his even his character's name is right now. But anyways, I think it has him in it too. Um but anyways, yeah. So and it's not like I don't like Tom Cruise or anything like that. Um but just, you know, I didn't plan on collecting any more on Steelbook. But like I said, for the price, no way I was going to pass that up. So, very, very happy. So, like I said, that is six new Steelbooks and six new Blu-rays. Lots of good older horror movies that I have never seen before. Um, so, very, very happy. And again, thank you so, so much, Pam. And I can't wait to order from you again. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and happy hunting out there, and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye, guys.